Good afternoon, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today is August 1st, 2023. And I want to start a series of messages about the 40 days of repentance leading to the Day of Atonement. To do this, I want to start here with the 120 days of Moses and three separate 40-day intervals of fasting and preparation from Shavuot to Yom Kippur. So here is this information about the 120 days from Shavuot to to Yom Kippur, how many days did Moses stay up on Mount Sinai in all? Answer, 120 days, three consecutive sets of 40 days. The 120 days from Shavuot to Yom Kippur. On the 7th of Sivan, Moses goes up the mountain, gets the tablets of the law, and on the 17th of Tammuz, 40 days later, Moses comes down, sees the golden calf, and breaks the tablets. Then, on the 18th of Tammuz, Moses burns the golden calf, judges the transgressors, and on the next day, on the 19th of Tammuz, Moses goes up again for 40 days, pleads for mercy up until the 29th day of Av, and then on the 1st of Elul, Moses goes up a third time for 40 days, gets second tablets, and the 40 days, the last 40 days of Moses, and on the 10th of Tishri, or on the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. And on Tishri 10, God tells Moses, I have forgiven as you ask, and gives him the second tablets. Now we have it shown to us in this way, and we can look at the scriptures that coincide with each of these three uh, 40-day periods. From Shavuot to the 6th or 7th of Av, the day of the golden calf, when Moses went up, the idea was to make a marriage covenant. Deuteronomy 9.11, it came to pass at the end of 40 days and 40 nights that the Lord gave me the tablets of stone, even the tables of the covenant. And in Deuteronomy 9.16, it says, And I looked, and behold, ye had sinned against the Lord your God, and had made you a molten calf, Ye had turned aside quickly out of the way which the Lord had commanded you. So here we have the first set of 40 days. The tablets were given to Moses and he brought the tablets down. And when he saw the golden calf, the tablets were broken. Then after the tablets were broken, in Deuteronomy 9.18... It says, I fell down before the Lord, as at the first, forty days and forty nights. I did neither eat bread nor drink water, because of all your sins, which ye had sinned in doing wickedly in the sight of the Lord, to provoke him to anger. And so Moses went back up the mountain for forty days, seeking repentance. From the day of the golden calf to Elul 1. Then in Deuteronomy 10.10 10, it says, I stayed in the mount according to the first time 40 days and 40 nights. And the Lord hearkened unto me at that time also. And the Lord would not destroy thee. So it was after this third period of 40 days that Moses was assured that God had forgiven the people and he came down with the new ta tables of 
stone, the new, the new Ten Commandments, the new tablets, on the Day of Atonement. And this ended a 120-day period from Shavuot to the Day of Atonement, which were divided in three 40-day intervals. This information is from the site HebrewForChristians.com. Again, we see the 120 days divided in three separate intervals of 40 days from Shavuot to Yom Kippur. And the last 40 days are considered to be the 40 days of Teshuva or the 40 days of repentance. According to Jewish tradition, then, the month of Elul represents the time that Moses spent on Sinai preparing the second set of tablets after the idolatrous incident of the golden calf. Moses ascended, ascended on Rosh Chodesh Elul, head of the month of Elul, and then descended 40 days later on the 10th of Tishri, the end of Yom Kippur, when the repentance of the people was complete. The month of Elul, therefore, represents the time of national sin and forgiveness obtained by means of teshuva or repentance before the Lord. Okay, so if we look at the final graph here, Elul and the season of teshuva, the blowing of the trumpets begins 40 days before the Day of Atonement, which is Elul 1, and Going through the days of Rosh Hashanah, where the scales are beginning to be opened, the scales are opened, and the judgment begins then during the 10 days of awe. So we have our final warnings from Elul 1 up through Rosh Hashanah, the timing of the trumpets, and then as we see in the graph, the priest is on his face seeking repentance for the people during the 10 days of awe from Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur. And then the books are closed, the books are sealed, the books are signed on the Day of Atonement after the final set of 40 days from Elul 1 through the Day of Atonement. Now, what is so important with all of this, and I would say this is the, the most important, the highlight of everything we need to understand, is that the final 40 days of Moses, when he went up to renew the marriage covenant and to get the new uh, tablets of stone, this coincides with the 40 days of Jesus fasting in the desert and then coming into the temple on the Day of Atonement and reading from the book of Isaiah when he basically declared himself to be the Messiah, to be the one who brought forth, is bringing forth the Jubilee on the Day of Atonement, and in Luke chapter 4, we see this whole sequence of events. Luke chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. So the first thing we see in Luke chapter 4 is the 40 days. This 40 days coincides with the 40 days of Moses when he went up the mountain for the third time seeking repentance, seeking the renewing of the marriage covenant, seeking the restoration of the Ten Commandments. And then it goes on to say in Luke chapter 4 verse 16, he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up, and as, it, as was his custom, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up to read. And there was delivered unto him 
the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Okay, so this was the day of atonement. Jesus spoke from the book of Isaiah, where it speaks of the year of Jubilee, the acceptable year of the Lord. The year of Jubilee is proclaimed on the Day of Atonement. And the 40-day fast period coincides with the 40 days of Moses leading up to the Day of Atonement. So Jesus fasted for 40 days, the same 40 days that Moses was seeking repentance and seeking forgiveness for the people based on the, the sin of the golden calf, the need for restoration, seeking of God to restore the uh, Ten Commandments. And Moses was seeking the favor of God and went up for 40 days leading up to the Day of Atonement. So if we look this year as we are watching leading up to the Day of Atonement between September 24th and September 25th, if we go to the first day of Elul, it's going to be the, uh, the next new moon will begin the 40 days of repentance, the season of Teshuva. This next new moon that is going to be approximately on August 17th, Elul 1 is going to begin the 40-day season of repentance and Teshuva in high holy preparation for the Day of Atonement on September 24th and September 25th. So what I want to do right now in this video, I want to get this information out to you. I want to begin focusing on how to prepare correctly what Moses did, what Jesus did, what does this this final time of 40 days really mean? I mean, if we go back to the uh, the the uh, great American eclipse of August 21st, 2017, that was Elul 1. That marked 40 days before the Day of Atonement in 2017. So Elul 1 is a very, very important marker. And what we need to understand then is that this is a time that God has given to us to prepare accordingly. Now, during this whole time of Elul, it says there in that in this in this graph, it says Cheshban Ha Nefesh. Chesh Cheshban Ha Nefesh. And that means searching of the soul or soul accountability. So this would be a time of personal self-reflection, a time of soul searching, a time to make sure that we are walking in accordance with true, uh, our true faith, our true, under, a true understanding according to uh, what does it mean to walk with Jesus Christ, to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And so all of these things is a, is a lead up and a preparation and I believe that this is a time that God wants us to be prepared. And so what I want to do is I want to start focusing on these 40 days leading up to the Day of Atonement. So I'm going to be searching more about this and bringing forth uh, messages about the 40 days of repentance and especially preparing for the Day of Atonement. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher, a trumpet for my people, the sign of his coming revealed.